Hi everyone, this is Bob with Technique Peak, and today I'm going to show an anterior to posterior shoulder mobilization. And before we show it, I just go go through what the uh, the purpose uh, is to increase shoulder range of motion, uh, not only internal rotation but also external rotation. The research shows that uh, posterior mobilization actually increases both, and that's supported by uh, the research. So we're going to show a variation of a typical uh, posterior mobilization, and we're going to show with the arm out at the side. Um, this particular um, technique basically involves preloading the arm or internally rotating the arm. So we'll, we'll, wind, up, we'll wind up the shoulder into internal rotation. What that does is it basically tightens the posterior capsule and then from there we can apply a posterior glide. So it's a little bit more of an aggressive mobilization. The other advantage of, of this is that it allows me not to push down directly on the biceps tendon which on some patients that can be pretty irritating. So when we internally rotate we kind of move the biceps tendon uh, away from the mobilizing hand and uh, patients generally find it much more comfortable. So we straighten out our elbow, like CP, almost like as if you're performing CPR. We can add a little distraction, and then we apply an anterior to posterior mobilization right through the humerus. Notice I'm right off of the uh, chromium. Um, so as soon as you find the chromium, you want to go just distal to that and apply your mobilization into a posterior direction. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you find that helpful. And this is Bob from Technique Peak.